Hello everyone, in this video I'll be sharing with you the process and the steps that I have followed to prepare myself before appearing for the Databricks uh, certification for Apache Spark. I'll be sharing with you all the courses and the exam papers that I have solved and it took me around just two weeks to prepare for the exam. Uh, this particular video is for the ones who have at least two to three months of experience working on Spark. So let's get started. This is a Databricks site from where you can register the exam from this link. And uh, the, I'll highly recommend you to go through this page once, like uh, learning about the minimum qualification that you need, what kind of uh, questions would be asked like what is the distribution of a uh, questionnaire uh, and there will be 60 multiple choice questions uh, and you'd be given 120 minutes the passing score is 70 percent for the exam and also you will be given uh, two test aids basically one is the api documentation and uh, the second one is the digital notepad uh, and just go through this page once this helps uh, to understand the exam structure and all so uh, as i said i had few uh, years of experience with spark so i didn't uh, directly start from basics i directly jumped uh, to understand or to uh, brush up my knowledge of advanced uh, apache spark and i had this course available with me uh, so i uh, went to all of uh, the videos uh, and watched all of the videos uh, regarding to spark architecture performance and apply applied understanding it took me around two days to complete these uh, lectures and uh, it was just to brush up my knowledge and appear for the uh, quizzes that are given and I'd really recommend this course if you don't know the advanced uh, Spark. It really helps uh, to understand the Spark architecture better. And I would say Spark architecture questions is asked in exams. So you should be very much uh, clear about the concept of Spark. So that's the first thing that I did after my registration. The second thing what I did, if you see uh, in the Databricks uh, website, there is a test uh, example for preparation is given and you can take it in Python or Scala. So uh, whichever language uh, you are uh, preferring, just open that and uh, solve this questionnaire the very first thing. And I, I am uh, telling you for me, uh, maximum of my questions, I would say around 40 to 50 percent of the questions were related or were directly uh, as it is from this paper. Or if not as it is, there were slight differences, but the questions were there. So I'll say 40 to 50 percent comes from this this test paper. So uh, highly recommended to solve this paper uh, at least thr thrice. Why I'm saying thrice, the reason is uh, for the first time you do, you have at least um, at least 80 percent score, say not 80, then whatever the score is, basically, uh, you'll not uh, just by looking at the wrong answers uh, once you'll not be able to um, correctly remember them. So I would suggest uh, practice it at least thrice. Um, the third time, I think you will be um, securing 100 percent in the exam uh, in this for this paper so just go through it very very thoroughly so that's my first recommendation and basically this is for the exam point of view the second one uh, which i highly recommend is this practice exams so currently it's uh, at a very cheaper rate but sometimes it goes to 3k as well uh, when i bought it it was around 500 something so it it, it uh, the question paper goes down so just keep a watch of this and highly recommended uh, practice uh, set uh, this one i have solved all of all these three the first two are relatively easy but the third one is uh, a bit complex so i suggest if you have time just go through these or try these uh, test papers twice or thrice so this is my second recommendation third one which i followed 
it's not recommended for anyone from my side but this one i followed uh, this test set it was 540 questions um, i got it for free so i solved all of them uh, but there were many mistakes uh, many wrong answers uh, around 10 to 15 percent of uh, questions had wrong answers so i didn't like uh, this exam set very much so i'm not recommending it but if you want you can have like if you can afford it so the next um, i would say since currently you only solve four papers if you are not solving this uh, the start skill set pro then you are only solving four sets of questions the pdf one then the three from udemy one but you need more questions to be solved so the more is better that's why i recommend this site exam topics here you have around 150 questions um, and it is free uh, of course you'll get some captcha and all that you you need to um, verify it uh, earlier that gets uh, irritating sometime but you don't have to uh, if, if you don't want to buy you can uh, go through this so this uh, set is also very uh, helpful um, of course I'd also say there are very wrong answers uh, in it, but you can always go to the discussion, see others' answers. And if you still feel the discussion is going in the wrong direction, like sometimes it happens in this uh, set of um, questionnaire, there uh, some discussions are, uh, some are saying A, some are saying B, but there's a chance for you to learn in this, uh, in this kind of situation. You just go to the documentation, read about it and find your answers on your own so that's a very good thing uh, if you solve this and one more thing i forgot to mention whichever question you are getting wrong like in this uh, pdf one or while this practice test just go uh, whichever question is wrong for you just go uh, to the documentation related to that question understand the question bank uh, understand the uh, concept very well why the question was that answered and clear your doubts in this uh, udemy course um, from from florian he has a very good explanation to each and every question so this one will be sorted for you it has links to path where you can read it but maybe for other questions like from exam topics or from pdf you are not uh, sure about the answer so just go to the documentation read about the topic and then clear your doubts immediately so this helps in expanding your knowledge and it makes you prepared more and confident more for the exam so this is uh, the whole uh, set of um, question banks that i have followed and it's more than enough the, the exam is not that difficult uh, but yes if you have um, kind of experience and knowledge you will absolutely clear the exam uh, and uh, if you are a complete newbie to spark like uh, you have to know the basics and everything for them i'll create another video because just solving this doesn't help them i have seen many of my um, uh, people who i know are not clearing the exam in the first go so uh, ju just when you are confident after solving on all of these question banks at least uh, in all of these you are getting at least 80 percent 90 percent then go for or sit for the exam that's what i would recommend i hope this video helps you in passing the exam thank you for watching my video if you like the video then please uh, hit a like button and subscribe to my channel bye